It's like no matter how hard I try to work with you, you just never seem to want to act right. Explain that to me. I'm constantly giving you chances after chances after chances to try and prove yourself. And what do you do? You always up and leave me. And here I am still stupid stuck in with you. You know, there's so many other girls out here living their best life, but I'm still trying to give you a chance to make something better out of yourself. I've been thinking and I think we need to take a break. You know, just to like, see what's out there because apparently this is not working between me and you. That's the most obvious thing in the world. So yeah, I think that's what's best, so. I wish you the best in life and all, but I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm through with you, I'm done, I'm moving on, and I'm not looking back. Oh yeah, and it's definitely not me, 100%. It's you. <laughs> yes, you guys have heard it right. I am done, I am finished, it is finito, fin, whatever you wanna say, I am done with got to be glued and free spray for a period of time. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm so done right now. I'm just so tired of having to reapply, spray this back down, tie it down for 15, 20 minutes, I'm, I'm done. Then I gotta go on the Niagara Falls, take it off my head. So you can probably tell by the intro and the title today, we are embarking on a journey, yes. But not just any glueless journey. We are trying to go glueless on a Dollar Tree budget. Y'all already know the love I have for Dollar Tree. Me and Dollar Tree have much more of a deeper connection. I have been seeing a lot of the viral wig, viral frontal videos going all around Instagram and Pinterest. Like these girls are really out here living their best lives within the absence of any glue, tape, or gel. Like, why am I being left back in the trenches? What, what's, what's up with that? This is gonna be a video testing if I can make those viral and very aesthetically pleasing glueless wig videos. But on a Dollar Tree budget. <laughs> but we're not gonna be doing it on an old wig, y'all know. I had to bring a new wiggy wig for y'all. Today's video is actually being sponsored by Ali Pro Hair. They sent me a wiggy wig to try out, honey. All right, inside the box, first we have the wig. We'll get to this in a minute. We also get an elastic band. And this is just some care instructions for your wig, how to take care of your wig. Some more wig caps, which I'm gonna have to put makeup on because baby girl is not this red. And then, of course, your nice little satin S bag. When I say all companies need to jump on the bandwagon, and here is the, have I brushed my teeth? Shaking it, uh -huh, the pack. It's really thick, so I'm assuming it's like 180% density. This clearly is a body wave unit, as you can see. It has a pretty good weight to it, to this lace, honey. The hairline is definitely looking a little pre-plugged. And of course, they gave you some starting baby hairs, which is great. Inside your cap, you are going to get three combs, one on each side of your wig, and then of course, one in the back with an adjustable strap. Even though this is not claimed to be an invisible knot wig, these knots are actually really, really small. See that it's probably one or two strands in each knot. I feel like all companies are taking over that, that trend, but they aren't really advertising them as invisible knot lace. Hopefully I don't over bleach this time, and then we're gonna jump into the whole testing process. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button for more videos like this, and now we can get started. All right, you guys, it is the next morning it is 9 57 i ended up going out last night so i wasn't really able to tend to the wig too much but the wig has been plucked barbara has been plucked to fill honey after i washed the hair the hair did not dry completely straight it's a little bit puffy now because of course i combed it and been playing with it um but the hair is actually extremely soft i did get 180 percent density so the hair is really, really thick. It did not get bone straight, which is great, um, but it wasn't super duper wavy as well. More so the ends had like a really, really nice slight wave. There was a nice little, eh, eh, a little whoa in the middle area. That's still good. Most body wave goes completely straight, but this didn't go completely straight. Maybe 85% straight, but not 100% straight. You know what I mean? I was sitting in the bed and I was thinking, I don't know where to start from here. So I thought, what better place to get some good, valuable information from other than my good sis Erica J. Now if you guys are not familiar with Erica J, um, she is a hairstylist that was based in Miami. She is a native Floridian. She lays and slays. I feel like this video is going to be all over the place so we're going to jump right into like a I follow a Erica J hair tutorial type video. I'm going to go ahead and cut on this tutorial and we're going to try to see how we're going to make this little bad baby glueless. Okay, let's get through all of this part. Just as you thought, I'm going to show you guys how to attach the elastic band 
where to attach the elastic. Okay, so she how says. How to properly install your wig so that you don't have to use any other products besides what I showed you. Okay, so we are going to have to sew in an elastic band. I figured that much, so I did go ahead and take out some janky needle and thread and of course an elastic band. Band. The way you stretch the elastic band is from side to side, from ear to ear, like you see me showing in the video. Then you're going to put it directly above your ears. Like when you put the wig on and you feel behind your ears, that's where you're going to put the elastic band. You're just going to sew it on. Hold on, babe. Oh, so I got to put the wig on. All right. All right. I done put my little stocking cap on. Um, she says that I need to put this on my head. Feel for the back of my ears. Oh, looking at this off rip, I don't know if I'm even going to have to even put the last band because once I tightened up my straps, this actually fits pretty good. But just for the purpose of following her steps, I'm still going to go ahead and go through and put the elastic band. what I'm gonna do because she didn't really she showed the technique of her sewing the hair and sewing the elastic band on but it wasn't extensive so I'm gonna just do what I think she did and just knot it at the end and this is not a tutorial by the way um, I'm just trying to follow hers the best way I know how but I will link her video down below but here we're just having some fun so the first one is attached I still got to sew down this part so I'm gonna go ahead and finish sewing on the elastic band off camera because as y'all can see that was a struggle for me and my claws so yeah we are now at my vanity. Time for us to finesse this glueless Dollar Tree wig. Where's Barbara? Way over there, well, she need to be over here. But this is the mousse that we're gonna be using. This is the Style Plus Amplify Hair Mousse Smooth Curls. I'm pretty sure almost every mousse at the dollar store is the same thing, but this is the one I have. This is the silver and blue bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and clean my hairline with some 91% alcohol. Funny. This is the hairline that we working with. I think I did a pretty good job. I just need to add some powder I and mean, I think I'll be good. This is like a tinted transparent lace. Judging by the video, her hair was already parted in a place that she wanted it to be. So I'm probably gonna have this hair in like a middle part. You're gonna take your mousse and smooth it all over the front of your wig. Once you get it laid exactly how you want it, once you get it molded exactly how you want it with the mousse, you're going to take your headband, wrap it down, and wait till it dries completely. Let's do a little breakdown of this whole process. That had to be the most messiest process of life. They make it look so easy on camera, but baby girl, that was messy. First things first, there was a, a problem on my end. For some reason, I'm not sure if it's because I had it in a hot area. My mousse is not really moosing up. It's coming out very watery. It hasn't done this before until I got here on camera. It's kind of hard to lay it down because with it being wet, my lace was kind of lifting up. So I had to keep holding down the lace, trying to put it down. Maybe I wasn't following the nurses that she was doing because I was going by listening. I wasn't really watching her. But for the purpose of being on camera so you guys can see, I'm going to show you guys to see if I can actually get this hair silky straight. Cause maybe I was just in a rush yesterday. I don't know if we're gonna try it again. I'm gonna let y'all listen to some music while I try to silk out this hair a little bit more. We'll talk a little bit later, chat.
I just finished soaking out my hair. Baby girl, but do you not see this body right now? Are you not seeing, let me get up. This is why Ali Pearl will forever be the GOAT. Look at how sleek I got this hair. Let's try and do a little quick reveal. Zoom y'all in a little zoomy zoom. This thing's giving me a headache. It's been about 30 minutes, so it should be pretty good. I am so freaking scared that I did this so wrong. But if so, hey, I'm just gonna have to shoot, got to be glued with the hey big head text. <laughs> girl. 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 Do you not see that sis is melted? I mean, it still look a little wonky because I ain't did baby hair or nothing yet, but baby, sis is, is, is melted. Oh, sus. Sus is tacked. I'm gonna go ahead and make this my own because it's still looking a little crazy. Because she did say in the video to go ahead and comb out your baby hair. So I am doing just that. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Just seeing how these baby hairs are like not stiff. Since it is about to rain outside and I'm gonna lose most of my sunlight, I'm going to put the specs of the hair and all that stuff that you would need to know um, over here on the screen and also down below in the description box. Let's talk about this hair for a second. I don't know why today all of a sudden my forehead looks like it's on swole and I always wear middle parts so I'm not really understanding this right now. This hair is so bomb. This hair is so freakishly silky. No snagging, no tangling. No shedding. I did straighten this hair the first time, but I kind of just did it real quickly. Had to have been because I wasn't able to get it this silky. Put the wig on my head and took my time. Sis, sis. I didn't have any issues at all with this hair, so it's not really much I can honestly say. This is their 180% density Indian Body Wave wig. As y'all saw in the clips, I did trim my ends, and like I said, trimming your ends just makes a, a world of a difference. These ends were fine. It's just a caution I like to take to make sure that my hair has the most maximum amount of body flowage to it. The real reason we here, besides the hair being bomb, the real reason we here is to see if this thing is glueless. I'm ready for this test. Everything looks so good. This lace was a tinted transparent lace, which I personally like because even though it's transparent, it still gave me a slight little tint. I did not have to use much powder to make it match my skin tone at all because it blended and melted perfectly. Now, since I did use the mousse, it wasn't like a complete melt, but it melted. So in some spots, it was more melted than others because of the mousse, but I'm almost positive if you are to use a glue or got to be glue gel or freeze spray, baby, you will not have to use any, any powder because it will just melt and suck right into your skin. Now it is time, honey, for me to go ahead and test out the little slick back, the little slide, the little yaga. All right, here we go. Oh! <laughs> it worked! It really worked! Okay, let's see if it slides back up. Girl, girl, girl. All right, you guys, so the test did work. This is a game changer. I'm not going back to jail anytime soon. Period.
So yeah, you guys, that's the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the channel down below. Join the Beehive gang, the Beehive fam, because we are lit and we are never, ever bougie over here. Do you understand me? I know you guys want to keep in contact with your girl because I'm your best friend, you're my best friend, we're all best friends. So add me on Instagram. I mean, what? And as always, I love every single one of you. But until next time, my lovelies, your crown may till, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded.